microphone for you. Hi, everybody. By the way, Mark, where are you from? I'm from the Toxic Waste State of New Jersey. New Jersey! And uh, I believe that Mark is going to sing an a cappella, and was the title of the song that you're going to sing tonight. So the good news is that the storm we ran into this week was given a name, it was given the name Mars, like the planet. Now these good folks didn't have the music to the Edmund Fitzgerald, which is the tune to which I wrote this song, but these are my own original lyrics. The legend comes down from those Florida bound from their port in northern New Jersey. The captain, he said, we can beat out the storm and the skies of our passage turned gloomy. Well stocked with supplies, it was hubris come on as they left the port for waters. The passengers crew and the ship would be true when the storm named Mars came a-callin'. The ship was the pride of the Caribbean line on a run to Canaveral and Nassau. As big liners go, it was bigger than most with a crew and good captain well seasoned. Five thousand aboard a vacationing horde when they left for a cruise to adventure. So past noon the next day when the ship's bell rang, could it be an east wind they'd be feeling? The wind crossed the ship, made a tattletale sound, and a wave broke over the six deck. And all the crew knew, as the captain did too, twas a rare, rare winter hurricane foreman. As the day grew late, they steamed into their fate, when the tropical gales came a slushing. When the storm's teeth came, it was openly plain in the face of a hurricane east wind. Supper time came, but the galley was wrecked, and no way in those rough seas to serve food. Yet again to the crew and the passengers too, the captain said, we'll be through in two hours. But the captain well knew he was fighting the wind, and the good ship and all were in peril. And later that night, as the winds reached their height, came the damage to systems internal. Does anyone know where the love of God goes when the waves turn minutes to hours? The sailors all say he'd have made a clear way if we had 200 miles behind us. We could have broke up, or we could have capsized, or even dove deep and took water. All that would have remained were the bodies and names of those lost to the storm winds and waters. By four bells they knew it was all they could do to tread water and look for a clearing. While burning full steam, fighting failing machines, as the crew felt fate's hand a closing. Locked in their staterooms, the passengers knew few facts while fear ate it reason. And the honor bars greed with their soda candy, their Pringles and booze led most starving. <laughs> the storm finally broke, rewarding the hopes of the passengers, crew, and the captain. Morning bells chimed and the sun it did shine, and a limited breakfast was serving. The legend lives on from those Florida bound, from the big ship they call Royals Anthem. The captain, they said, never gives up his ship, when the hurricane Mars came up to claim them. Ladies and gentlemen, give it all of us once again to Mars.